the Gambia police force Thursday confirmed the arrest of a man suspected of killing two police constables at the Sukuta traffic light junction this week. Now, the Inspector General's office said in a statement that the alleged perpetrator, Hussein Bojan from Brufut Bojan Kunda, was arrested in the Senegalese border committee of Jululu. Now, currently under investigation, Hussein is suspected of shooting and killing two male police constables, Pate Jalo and Sanjay Gomez, and, in, and of course, and inflicted injuries on female constable Nancy Jalo on the Tuesday while they were on active duty at the Sukhra traffic light junction. And here's more details of that in this report. The operation to arrest the alleged perpetrator, according to the police, was executed with precision, leading to his arrest in Jilililun customers. The police said it remains devoted to sharing information from the investigation that is suitable for the public, while requesting the general public to cooperate with them. According to the police, this is the first time in the history of the Gambia for an unknown person to attack and shoot police officers. Meanwhile, President Adam Abbaro has since expressed sadness about the incident, calling it an act of terror that undermines the peace and security of the country. During a briefing with the National Security Council, the Gambian leader described the incident as a terror attack to intimidate the police and government, saying his government remains committed to maintaining peace and security. The suspected perpetrator is said to have fled the country after shooting the officers, forcing President Barrow to announce a $1 million bounty for any information leading to his arrest. Accompanied by some government officials and security chiefs, President Adam Barrow visited the hospitalized officer who is currently receiving treatment and presented $100,000 to her. He later paid his last respect to the slain constables at the country's main referral hospital in Banjul.